Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail, continuing the run on over-the-counter retail products. Shine Armor from Fortify. It is a quick coat. It can be used many ways. A rinseless wash. You could use it as a quick detailer, um, a quick... Uh, boost and gloss standalone or even as a topper prices are all over the place i've seen this in grocery stores uh ollies for four dollars 99 cents so that's under 60 cents per ounce when it's eight ounces uh so if this is even half decent maybe something to throw in the trunk uh for a quick boost of gloss or a rinseless wash when you're on a longer trip let's get it applied to this panel and take a deeper look Using it as a protectant, I'm just going to spray into a microfiber, spread out into the test area. You could spray onto the panel as well. Spray into the microfiber, spray onto the panel, and then use that wet towel to spread it out. Follow up with a dry towel immediately and buff to perfection, and you will avoid streaking. It is easy to use. Rather easy, quick and easy to use. So we're off to a good start. Um, you can find this also on Amazon and online, but for a much steeper price, if you take your time and keep your eyes open and look in places like uh, center aisles of supermarkets or your uh, five and dine stores, you'll find this product for a lot less. I didn't find anything on Cure Time, but it was a day or two until I got back to the panel, and the immediate difference you feel on slickness, uh, it's, it's slight, but there is a difference, and you could see the block just sliding right off there. When it comes to gloss, not much of a story to tell there. Some products, it takes a few days uh, before you get the full effect. When it comes to gloss, sometimes some of these products throw off the aperture of the gloss meter until they're fully cured. So this is the reading I got about 36 to 48 hours in. When it comes to heat, we've seen some products easily hold up to this tiny torch test here. I know this is like a 3 a.m. infomercial test, but some products have really withstood it. Let's drag the panel outside, remove the masking tape, and look for the jetting effect. And, and that is, does it make the area it's applied to look, uh, does it give it depth, rich, richness, a deeper color? Um, slight. I, I can barely see the outline, and I'm not even sure it'll come through on the camera. Okay, let's move on to water behavior. So this product does bead water. You'll be able to tell where we applied the product compared to the rest of the panel. Quite simply, it beads water at first. Quite frankly, I'm not expecting too much from the, the product, so if it fails early, it won't be too much of a letdown. Uh, products that are heavily marketed on social media never work out for me. Products you find in the center aisle of stores or five and dime stores don't work out too well. So if it makes it uh, through the 10 wash test, I'll probably be impressed. Compared to other products that really are aggressive when it comes to chemical resistance, you don't see much of a fight when it comes to the uh, shampoo or the, the soapy water. Uh, but as we rinse and we move on with each wash, it does seem to hold up a bit.
Okay, so in some areas it is uh, moving from beating properties and characteristics to fast sheeting, and that's still fine. I'd rather have it sheet anyway. Uh, the protectant's still there. All that means is the uh, additive to make the product a bead uh, hydrophobic is just starting to break down a little bit. So let's move on with the testing. We'll move on to the usual APC. And when we spray the APC on there, you can see it's it's fighting it. It's, it's trying to bead it up and reject it from the surface and not let it make contact with the clear coat. Trying not to fail to mention in every video I do this, there's nothing that can stand up to what Mother Nature can throw at a car, but here we're throwing chemicals up and down the pH scale at the protectants, and these protectants do boast to be chemical resistance um, to a certain point, most between a 3 and an 11 on the pH scale. So that's what we do. We let it dwell a little bit. We wipe it in with a towel and then we wash off with a shampoo to make sure there's no residue. Having taken a slight hit from the APC, we'll move on, but at this point, having found this for $4.99, uh, it's already exceeded my expectations. Anything more is just a bonus. Okay, next, a wheel cleaner. At this point, it, the lines are starting to blur when it comes to where the product's applied and where the unprotected panel is. The wheel cleaner is not being beaded or rejected too much at this point, so we'll wipe it in, uh, rinse it, wash it off, and take a look. And at this point, we are down to quick sheeting, which, again, that's still fine with me. And finally, Citral 266, which is acidic. So we've gone up and down the pH scale. And we can see now it's completely wasted. So overall, when it comes to ease of use, I would give that a 7 out of 10. Slickness, I'd give that a 6 out of 10. Gloss, 4 out of 10. Uh, durability, 5 out of 10. And overall, a 5 out of 10. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. These uh, results are subjective, so maybe give it a shot yourself, and we'll catch you in the next video.